Klipsch HD Theater Systems bring the full impact of digital sound to your living room. Here's how to get the most out of your HD audio experience. To begin, carefully remove the four satellite speakers, center channel, subwoofer, and accessories from their packaging. The accessories include five wall mount brackets for the satellites and center channel, a center channel cradle, five mounting screws, a subwoofer power cord, and stick-on rubber pads. HD theater audio systems are compatible with virtually all 5.1 home theater amplifiers or receivers, which are sold separately. The recommended power level of your receiver should be between 20 and 100 watts per channel at an 8 ohms output. Be sure to observe the correct polarity as you connect the speaker wires at both ends. Klipsch recommends using 16 to 20 gauge wire, which can be purchased at a reputable AV retailer. In order to connect the subwoofer to the receiver, you also need to buy a high-quality shielded subwoofer cable. When installing, make sure the cable is connected to receiver's subwoofer output and the subwoofer's left line input. The satellites can be placed on shelves or mounted on a stand or wall. When it comes to shelf placement, be sure to apply the included stick-on rubber pads to the bottoms of the speakers so they will stay in place. To simplify wall mounting, a template has been provided in the quick setup guide that comes with your HD theater package. This template allows you to establish your placement preferences and to properly drill holes for the brackets, which are used to attach the speakers either horizontally or vertically. A screw with a quarter inch head will fit the keyhole opening to allow secure mounting. The bracket also allows you to angle the speaker up to 20 degrees, aligning them in the optimum listening position. To secure the speakers, position the mounting screws, leaving enough thread exposed to fit through the keyhole opening. Then connect the speaker wires, attach the bracket to the speaker with the screws that were included in the accessories package, and fit the keyhole openings on the bracket over the screws, sliding the speaker down to ensure a secure fit. Ideally, the front left and right speakers should be placed 6 to 15 feet apart and slightly angled in toward the listening position. The center channel can be located directly above or below the TV screen to achieve proper sound placement for film dialogue. Use the cradle to adjust the angle of the center channel for optimum performance. The rear ported subwoofer is most effective when placed in the corner of your room, just to the outside of the left or right front speaker. But when choosing its location, keep in mind you'll need to plug it into an AC outlet. The subwoofer's level control is factory preset at the 12 o'clock position, and in most cases, this is where it should stay. You would only need to turn the level control up in instances where there's a low subwoofer signal coming from the receiver. In order to effectively blend the subwoofer sound with the HD speakers and center channel, the subwoofer's low pass control should be set to 150 Hz. The two position phase switch should then be adjusted so that the subwoofer generates the most output for your listening position. Lastly, Klipsch recommends keeping your subwoofer set to auto. That way it will turn itself on and off based on the presence of a receiver signal. Surround speakers ideally should be mounted to each side of the desired listening location, but may also be placed somewhat behind the seating position. With the proper setup and placement of your new HD theater, you are sure to discover the power, detail, and emotion that we build into our products.